Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full face of neglected makeup products. These are things I just have not used enough and I want to get good use out of my makeup collection. I'm on a low buy. I like to shop my stash, do project pans, not buy too much at once. So I thought I would look through my collection and find some things that I have not used in a while. And for eyeshadow, I have to use single eyeshadows because those are my least used for sure in my makeup collection. So products will be listed down below. And if you are into shop my stash and project pan videos, stay tuned. I upload four videos a week and let's get into this. Okay, I already have on the MAC Painterly Paint Pot as usual as my eye primer. And I pulled this out, which is, these are almost all Makeup Geek single shadows. I'm actually, I think I'm only gonna use like one or two of these. These here are the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral Palette, and I'm gonna go old school here. This is Makeup Geek Cupcake. Yes, anyone remember people talking about this eyeshadow? It's a famous one for sure. And then the other shadows I want to use are my Cleonad Glitter Multichromes. They just came out with more shadows from their stained glass collection and they look amazing, but I was like, I'm not gonna buy any because I already have Cleonad shadows that I don't use that often. So I'm gonna use the ones that I have instead of buying the new ones. They are really beautiful though. Look how nice Makeup Geek Cupcake is. I really, really like this eyeshadow. And my Makeup Geek shadows, I mean, they're really good quality. I really should be using these more. It's too bad that the brand is not around anymore. The shadows were good though. So I'm just gonna do this, like put it all over the crease because I want like a whole multi-dimensional multi-chrome look. We'll see how that works out, of course. Um, okay, so I want to use this one here, which is Cleonad Torch, and it is a glitter multi-chrome. I have had my Cleonad shadows. I bought them at the end of 2019, and at that time, I don't know how long they take now for shipping, but at that point they were taking almost two months. So it wasn't well into 2020 when mine arrived. And I don't know, I mean, partly I just tend to not really reach for um, single shadows that much, but I think also like I waited so long to get them that I don't know, by the time they came in the mail, I kind of even forgot that I had ordered them, which is really, really sad. And that's just my own fault, but you know, it happens. So these are definitely, I mean, you can see that shift. And I went with their glitter multi-chromes over their, I think they, the other ones they have are jewel multi-chromes. Um, these are less expensive and they seemed more up my alley. I think these are around $10 each, where some of the other ones I think are 25. Multichromes in general are more expensive from whatever brand. Um, I did recently purchase more from Lethal Cosmetics and I did buy one of their multichromes. Their multichromes cost $16 each, so but yeah, I didn't really feel like spending $25 on the ones from Cleonad, so no, that's why I got the glitter ones and they seem more up my alley anyway. Okay, definitely need to spray the brush with these. Oh, and these magnetic palettes that I have, by the way, are from the Shop Miss A website. I've had them for years. They're really, really nice and way cheaper than Z palettes, so is a beautiful shade. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, this one is called Torch. And I'm pretty sure they still sell this one. Okay, so I want to also incorporate, as you can tell, yeah, they get like really chunky in the pan. I want to use a little bit of this one, which is like pink to peach and some other colors. That one's called Sunbeam. And then I also want to use 
this purple to blue, which is called enamel. I just figure we're here. Let's just go all out. I never use these, so let's just try it. Um, I'm gonna do the purple one, which is called enamel. And I think I wanna try, yeah, let's put this one here in the center. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's stunning, okay. What is wrong with me? I have not been using this eyeshadow. That just, wow. That looks amazing. All right. And if you have more from the stained glass collection, please let us know. I mean, they're really awesome shadows. Okay. Well, 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 that is really beautiful. So then I want to use that pinkish one, which is called Sunbeam. It's crazy that I ordered these shadows. Yeah, at the very end, it was like very end of 2019. I mean, I knew they weren't going to come for a while because they said that on their website. Oh my gosh. Wow. This shadow reminds me of one from one of the Pat McGrath palettes I have. Can't really remember which one right now. There's a green shift to it. Ooh, that's pretty. All right. And I really enjoy this brush from BK Beauty for this part of my eyelid. It's the 205. It's like perfect for my eye shape for this inner corner area. Wow. Beautiful. Can't believe I have these amazing eyeshadows and I haven't been using them. I can't even remember the last time I used these from the stained glass collection. Oh my gosh. Do you see the shifting? Hopefully you see it. Hopefully it's picking up on camera. I don't really know. I really do want the multi-chromes to be like the main stars of the show here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more of Makeup Geek Cupcake just to blend a little bit. But yeah, so far that's the only matte eyeshadow that I've used for this look. Wow, okay, I think that's all that I wanna do. So I'm gonna clean up the fallout and we'll do the rest of the makeup. I did forget how much fallout these eyeshadows have. It took me way longer than normal to clean up the fallout. I mean, they're glitter multi-chromes, so what do you expect? But yeah, there's a lot of fallout. Anyway, the eye look is beautiful though. I have on face primer and for a neglected foundation, I found this, the Yensa Super Serum Silk Foundation. I got this in PR, I think earlier this year and I used it at that time and really enjoyed it. And then, I don't know, I've ended up trying a lot of new foundations this year. Some I got in PR and some I bought myself. I don't know, there's just been a lot of foundation intriguing me and so a lot of them have been neglected, that is for sure, but I knew, I do know that I like this one quite a bit. What shade do I have? Oh, light warm. Luckily, I don't really have a neglected concealer though, so I'm just gonna use a Project Pan concealer. I definitely don't have nearly as many concealers as I do foundations. I think I only have five or six concealers and I have a lot of foundation right now. I think I have like 16 or 17. I know that's like way too many. It's gotten out of hand. I'm working on a few in Project Pans though. So, you know, wish me luck on that. So concealer, yeah, I'm just gonna use Project Pan Concealer, Believe Beauty. I've been using this a lot lately. I think it's really good. 
And what shade do I have in this one? I think I have Biscuit, yeah. Okay, where did the sponge go? There we go. And I did find a very neglected face powder. Um, it's not one that I want to use on my under eye because it leaves like a major white cast there. But I do like it for lightly setting my face. And that is this one from Ciate London, which I got in a BoxyCharm. And I haven't had BoxyCharm. I had it for the first half of 2020. So, yeah, I canceled it after... I think six months I had it like January through June but yeah I've got I ended up decluttering a lot of the stuff that I got in Moxie Charm I did get some good stuff though I, I've panned some things that I got in there I used up a lot of the skincare it wasn't all bad I think I enjoyed having Boxy Charm at that time but I just it's a lot of stuff coming in every month I mean I think you get like five or six items in there and I think it makes sense like if you're not buying anything else but there's still stuff that I want to try so for me boxy charm ended up not really making a lot of sense to have but I did enjoy it while I had it so okay this is called the Ciate coconut everyday vacay setting powder what's up with things that have ridiculously long names like just Call it the setting powder. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, it does smell like coconut. I forgot about that. Mm. It smells nice. I'm sure a lot of people would not want a setting powder that has a scent. It's, it's already, the scent is already going away. It's not like lingering on my face or anything. Um, but yeah, like I said, I know that I don't like that one on the under eye. So I'm going to just use what I've been using on the under eye, which I love, which is the number seven translucent perfect light powder. Again, what's up with these names? I get that they want to be specific, but it's like, look, I get it. It's a setting powder. <laughs> what more do you need to tell me about it? But I really am loving this one for the under eye. All right. So this next thing I'm so excited for, okay? I am, ah, dropping makeup brushes. Anyone remember this? The Anastasia Contour Kit. Light to medium is the one I have. I can't even tell you the last time I used this. No clue. No clue at all. I am just gonna combine, I mean, I've used it a decent amount and I've had this for years. I mean, I think I've had this for like five years at this point. So I think I'm just gonna combine all of those and just do like a combination of bronzing and contouring. I don't know. Let's just go for it. Yeah, maybe that was too much. Yeah, my last get ready with me, I had like a whole excessive blush incident. And now we're apparently having that with bronzer. It's fine. I'll fix it. I mean, this product is also extremely old, so I wouldn't even be surprised if its quality has perhaps decreased a bit over the years. Shade's nice though. So I just combined all three of these together. I was like, whatever, let's go for it. You know, actually, I, I think this is a nice undertone. I like it. So I'm gonna use this blush palette again, and I used last week in my Get Ready With Me this one, which is Bobbi Brown Pill Pink. And I had a bit of like a misblending situation. I think I just put too much on, but I, like never use these blushes. These are Tarte blushes. This one is exposed and then these five are from one of those big blush books that they sold at the holidays years ago. Like I can't even remember. So I'm gonna use this pink one. I don't even remember which blush book it's from. I don't think it matters. It's just a pink blush, but yeah. Did you guys ever buy those blush books? I'm curious. 
Those used to be so popular around the holiday time when Tarte was coming out with their various blush palettes. Man, those were the days. That's like some old school YouTube right there. <laughs> I haven't seen them come out with one of those in quite a long time. Okay, I like that. Um, now, neglected highlighters. Just like I neglect my single eye shadows, I tend to not reach for my single highlighters. And I have this old ColourPop palette. These are some, these are Depotted Anastasia. These are old Ofra. This is M Cosmetics, E-M-M-E -E Cosmetics, um, Canadian indie brand. And then these three are from Davina Cosmetics. So I want to use the Davina one in Laced, which is like a pink duochrome highlighter. I know that I like this. And I thought it'd be fun to do like a duochrome highlighter with all like multi-chromes on my eyes. I thought it would be fun. It's beautiful, great quality. I love the Davina highlighters. I have their eyeshadows too, and I like the Davina eyeshadows, although I'm not wowed by them. I much prefer their highlighters. I think out of all of the indie brand eyeshadows I have, Davina's probably my least favorite. So, oh, and today I am planning on filming an indie swatch party duochrome video. So stay tuned, hopefully that's gonna be later this week, but that's what I'm planning on filming after this. So stay tuned if you're into that and you wanna see the other duochrome, multi-chrome shadows that I have because people are always surprised that I even own this many single eyeshadows because I rarely talk about them on my channel, which is really, really sad. And that's because I rarely end up using them. So totally my own fault. Gotta work on that, but hey, that's what I'm trying to do right now. So I think for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna use a bit of blush because I don't wanna do too much. This is another Bobbi Brown one. I couldn't tell you what it's called. I do not know, but yeah. I don't wanna do too much. I really want like the multi-chromes to be the stars of the show here. Here we are, final look. And for the lip color, I decided to go with super neglected products in my collection, and that is lip liner and bold lip colors. So I really enjoy these Alva Matte Lip Stains from Odin's Eye, but this darker shade I rarely use because I just feel like bold colors, they're just more high maintenance. I definitely needed a lip liner which is ColourPop CTRL, which I think that's control. This is a brown. I rarely use this lip liner. Oh, it's sticking out. Okay, careful. Don't wanna break it. I really love the ColourPop lip liners, but in general, I've mentioned before, I tend to neglect lip liner. It's an additional step and just bold colors like this just feels so high maintenance and I'm so worried it's like getting on my teeth and I do feel like it looks a little bit patchy. I love these, but I tend to reach for the lighter shades, like not light shades, but more like medium shades like this one in Ripe Papaya, which is like an orangey peach. I love that one. But yeah, I just feel like this really dark brown, high maintenance, a little bit patchy, but I'm really enjoying this makeup look. The eyeshadow, wow. Like the stained glass collection from Cleona. I can't believe I've had these eyeshadows for over two and a half years and barely use them. I know, so sad, but yeah, and the Davina highlighter, beautiful. And I have to say, I actually really like the way that the bronzing looks for this contour kit. I think it looks good. I mean, you can tell that I have used this a decent amount. It's just, it's quite old and it's been a while, but you know what? I still like it. The eyeshadow, amazing, gorgeous, beautiful, love it. And I do like this setting powder for the face. Um, I think it's nice. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this look. I really just want to continue to use what I have, shop my stash, 
And yeah, and I really do want to film that swatch video. So if you want to see that, stay tuned because I'm hopefully going to film that after this. So let us know what you think. What products have you neglected in your collection? Stay tuned. I upload four videos a week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.